What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing Zekrom in ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Zekrom, I haven't been able to get my hands on a Zekrom team until today. We haven't used Zekrom on the casual ladder, nor on the rank ladder. So this is going to be a first time for me in Scarlet and Violet. I used it in games past, such as Sword and Shield, but not Scarlet and Violet. So this should be a fun new little squad for me to showcase. Zekrom's over here rocking the Terra Volt as his ability, alongside with the clear amulet as his item. I feel like every single restricted Pokemon that is a physical attacker can just use the clear amulet and it works so good. Zekrom's got Protect, Rock Slide, Dragon Claw, and his signature move, Fusion Bolt for Stab. We love this Pokemon so much, it's going to be hitting like a truck. Other Pokemon on today's team features two, two support Pokemon. One's going to be Whimscott, one's going to be Incineroar. Whimscott's got that Tailwind, it's got Moonblast, Helping Hand, and Encore. And Incineroar over here doing Incineroar things with Flare Blitz, Knock Off, Fake Out, and Parting Shot. Do I even need to talk about that Pokemon anymore? It's kind of getting old. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features Landorus, Ogre Pond, and Fluttermane. You got two big time special attackers with Landorus and Fluttermane, especially because Landorus is Sheer Force and Life Orb. Then we have a nice big time physical attacker with Wellspring Ogre Pond, another Pokemon that I'm getting tired of talking about, but since it's a newer Pokemon in this game, I don't mind using it. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing the Zekron ranked team. Going up against Coridon here in match number one, and one thing this team doesn't have is weather control or even terrain control, which kind of sucks, right? It kind of sucks. They're just so like relevant in this uh, the meta as of right now. I feel like this team should have it, but this team still thrives out with a bunch of really strong Pokemon. But like I said, we're going up against Coridon with Rillaboom, Fluttermane. They also have Volcarona, Annihilate, and Shen Powder Peril, but physical attackers, so pretty strong team. Decent amount of physical attackers. They do have Annihilate, which I think they're going to lead considering we do have Incineroar, and they're probably predicting us to lead Incineroar. So honestly, I feel like just going into Landers might be in our best option, right? A little bit of Landers, a little bit of Zekrom, or I can just go Zekrom alongside with Whimsicott, which wouldn't be bad, because if they're going to fake me out, I can always Encore them into Fake Out. It's not bad. I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to bring Landers in the back end, and last but not least, we gotta rock out with our Incineroar. Incineroar is just a dog. He's actually a lion, a tiger actually. It's a tiger, but in my book, he's a dog. He's an absolute dog. But as you guys can tell by my throat, I do have a sore throat, feeling a little sick, but hey, I'm still recording for you guys. I got you guys, I love doing this. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying, but yeah, if you guys hear me coughing, sniffling, you guys know why. A little under the weather, just just tab it, just tab it, but, but it, not enough to keep me in bed, right? I'm able to get out of bed, I'm able to do things. We're chilling with that. But Volcarona is going to come out here with a lead with Rillaboom. So they can fake me out, which I don't mind if they fake out. I mean, they can go for the fake out takeout, which could be tough on my Whimsicott part. But I'm going to try to set up a Tailwind here. And do I just protect Zek from? I feel like I should just attack. If you fake me out, you fake me out. I think we just go Tailwind here. And we could go for Rock Slide. Rock Slide's four times super effective onto Volcarona. So yeah, I'm going to rip a Rock Slide. I can pull that off. That's nice. But they are going to fake out uh, Zek from. That's totally fine. So I'm going to set up this Tailwind. I wish I was Cobra Cloak. That'd be awesome. And they're probably going to go for a Quiver Dance, correct? Most likely Quivering. No, they go Tailwind for Tailwind. That's that's fine. So no Quiver Dance pops out here. I think we just Encore this Rillaboom into Fake Out. Hands down, I love Encore. Especially in this format. It's just so good. It's just so good. And then we just we can just spam a Rock Slide here, right? So I would love to get off a big time damage onto this Volcarona. So we Encore this Rillaboom. We don't got to worry about it doing anything. Get on out of here, Rillaboom. Not dealing with you. Rock Slide's going to fly here. Who's dodging it? Rillaboom dodges it. That's fine. I'd rather hit the Volcarona. And we do massive amount of damage onto that. Fake Out's going to come out from Rillaboom due to the Encore. It's going to fail. Quiver Dance. Fiery Dance. That's fine. I'm going to go for a Fiery Dance here into my Wormscott. My Wormscott's going to sash up, which is gorgeous. Which is lovely. So we get off another turn with Whimsy. So Whimsy's going to come out here. Getting another turn here. Um, what's my play here now? Do I go for a Dragon Claw in the Rillaboom? And I can just Moonblast this slot? Moonblast should KO you. But I gotta remember, he's gonna swap out here. He's gonna swap, and it's either gonna be into Coridon or even Fluttermane. So to be honest, I wanna go for Dragon Move, but if you swap into Fluttermane, I'd rather just rip an Electric Move. So I'm just gonna go Moonblast here. That should be enough to pick up the KO onto you. And then just go uh, Fusion Bolt into this Rillaboom slot. You should definitely swap it out. Yep. 
Cool, so he swaps out. Is it Flutterbane? It's gonna be Shen Pao. Okay, I'll take I'll take an electric move into Shen Pao. That's fine. I just didn't want to swap it into Fluttermane and me just losing the turn. The Moon Blast's gonna fly. I should pick up the KO, correct? Yep, no problem. Get it on out of here. And Shen Pao's gonna take a fusion bolt. Love it. Awesome. Fusion bolt. Let's check it out. Oh, that looks oh my god, that looks awesome. Yes, sir! We love that move. We love that. Now, Shen Pao's going to get back a little bit of HP here. Same thing with Wimscott. Um, now, the thing here is, their Tailwind user's dead. And I believe my Wimscott has Protect. And I think there's one turn left in Tailwind. I gotta check it out. So, I'm thinking of just protecting Wimscott this turn. And then setting up Tailwind next turn. Would be my best interest, right? Would probably be my best interest. Let's see. First of all, yeah, one turn left in Tailwind. You have Protect. You don't have Protect. That's where things get a little rough. That's where things get a little rough. So from here, I'm going to do this. And honestly, I might just try to slice you into fairy. And try to drop a rock slide. Just for KOs on Chen Pao. And damage on the fighter man. Yeah, I don't mind the fairy terror here. Get that dragon away from me. I'm cool with that. Especially with Sakurama at this HP. We might as well use our terror on it. So we're going to try to slice solid max so far. If we had protect, it would work so perfectly. But I love the moveset that this Wimscott is rocking out with. Yeah, Protect would have worked perfect. We would just Protect it, had Tailwind the next turn, and then, you know, had speed for the rest of the game. But from here, he's going to go for an Ice Spinner. This is exactly where we terrestrialize. You should soak. Yep, no problem. And the Grassy Terrain's gone now. The Grassy Terrain's gone. Dazzling and Gleam's going to fly here. Zekrom should soak. Awesome. Thank you, Terra. And as long as we just land this Double Rock Slide, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Land Double Rock Slide. Oh, no. Who's dodging? Flutter. Okay, okay. I can deal with it. I was gonna say, if Shen, if Shen Pao was the only one to dodge, then it would have been a little rougher. But we pick up the KO onto Shen Pao. We love it. Tailwind is gone on both sides. So now from here, I could just intimidate the Rillaboom, which is probably my best bet, right? Knock off the Life Orb. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So we're gonna go into Incineroar. I'm going to intimidate you. Uh, I want to try to get off a parting shot on the Flutter Moon. Definitely my best interest. Maybe just protect the, uh, the Zekrom here. I mean, you might just fake out the Incineroar, to be honest. You might just fake out the Incineroar. But yeah, I'm going to go for a parting shot here. And I'm just going to protect Zekrom. I mean, you're probably going for a fake out into the Incineroar. And then just dash and gleam. Most likely. We're going to see a Terra pop out from Robin. Probably Fire, right? Which I don't mind. I got uh, Lando in the back end. But it's going to be a Fluttermane Terra. And honestly, I was going to try to read that and fake that slot out, which could have been massive. That could have been a big time turn for us. But hopefully you're just faking out my uh, Zekrom. And then we go from there. But chances are you're faking out my Incineroar, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Crit? Really? Damage is a little absurd. Dazzling Gleam is going to fly here. I blocked that. Incineroar is going to bury up. This might actually KO Incineroar. Kind of tough news here. It doesn't. Okay. I really want to get off a parting shot into Fluttermane. I really do. I really do. I really do. But if they double down into Incineroar here. Oh, man. They're going for knockoff or parting shot. Knockoff will take off Life Orb, and we can do damage on top of that, which isn't bad, but... Flare Blitz would be nice, too. I think we just go for a Parting Shot, because if I can reset and get my Fake Out, that'd be beautiful. And then from here, if I can get off a Fusion Bolt, I'd rather just double down into this thing. The Grass Guy's going to fly into this slot, which is not bad. Are you going for a Moon Blast for the KO? Most likely, right? I was thinking you would double down into Incineroar and just Dazzle Gloom finish off Zekrom. Let's see, Incineroar. You got Power Gem. Okay, of course you rock Power Gem. Yeah, we're dead for that. Power Gem's going to take us out. So now it's a 2v1. Um, I don't mind where we're sitting, but Power Gem's looking scary. Power Gem is looking scary. I'm trying to think of moves that Rule Boom has. Because I have Sludge Bomb, which is nice. Also have Sands here Storm. Also have Sands here Storm. We are Sheer Force Life Orb, which is just massive damage. And we're super effective on the booth. I got to go after the Flutter Man here. I already got uh, Rule Boom minus one. If I can just get rid of this Flutter Man. Grassy Guy's gonna fly here. Does a nice chunk of damage. And are you KOing me with Dazzle Gleam? I hope not. I hope not. 
you are, yo. Fluttermane's so good, yo. We played this match so well, too. I'm kind of upset that we lost it, but Fluttermane's just doing way too much damage, especially with that Fairy Terror. But GG's to our opponent. We end up losing match number one. I love using Fluttermane, but I hate going up against it. Such a strong Pokemon. We played so well in that last one, I thought we were thriving out there, but our opponent ended up getting the best of us just by Terrastalizing Fluttermane and spamming Dazzle Gleam. It works so well, but we're coming up against a big time Trick Room team with Enamorous, Orangaroo, who's probably going to pop Trick Room. They also has Bruxious, Ursaluna, Urshifu, and Mousehold. Okay, so two bears. They're doubling down on the bears. I think maybe Encore Wimscott can be good here. Alongside with Zekrom for the lead, we could do that. And then just go like Helping Hand and just send like a Fusion Bolt. But I like being able to Encore somebody into Trick Room. Especially with Focus Ash. I think that can work really well for us. So I'm going to go into both of them. In the back end, we're going to go into our Landorus. And then last but not least, probably Ogre Pod. I like Ogre Pod a lot here. Well, Spring Ogre Pod. I should have brought my Fluttermane in that last match. Should have brought my Fluttermane in that last match. Just to deal with their Fluttermane. I think we're going to do that. If next battle, if I'm versus another Fluttermane, I'm definitely bringing my Fluttermane. Because I'm just not dealing with it. We're going to out Fluttermane a Fluttermane with our Fluttermane. That's a lot of Fluttermanes. But hey. We're here, we're 0-1, need, need a bounce back win here, need a bounce back win. I got you guys, I got you guys, don't worry, but no restricted Pokemon. I've seen a few comments in my comment section, like, why are people on the rank ladder not bringing restricted Pokemon? I'm thinking the same thing, man, like, you're just, you're just asking to lose at that point, right? You just gained such a massive advantage by having that restricted Pokemon. If you don't have it, you're, you're just missing out. The Pokemon are 10 times stronger than others, I feel like you have to have it, you have to. But let's see who they end up leading here. I think it's going to be like Mousehold or Ranguru or Ranguru somebody else. But I think Ranguru is going to be that guy who sets the Trick Room. So Brux is going to come out here alongside Mousehold. Now, can Brux just pop Trick Room? That's the real question. That is the real question. This could be Pop Bomb Mousehold. This could be Pop Bomb Mousehold. And honestly, I just want to go into this and go into a Fusion Bolt. And honestly, I want to attack Mousehold. If Brux just wants to pop a Trick Room, that's fine. I just think this mousehole could potentially be Pop Bomb, and I just don't feel like dealing with Pop Bomb, right? Pop Bomb does insane amount of damage, but Brux just on the field. Let's see what this Pokemon's gonna do here. Follow me. Okay, that's fine. The Brux just is most likely popping Trick Room. I'm cool with that. No big deal. Fusion Bolt gonna fly, and it does some nice damage onto Mousehole. And there's Trick Room. So now I'm hoping Mousehole attacks. Now I'm really hoping Mousehold attacks it. Honestly, I could just go into... Hmm. I could just go into Moonblast here and just KO these Pokemon and Encore next turn. Actually, no, we, we would have to Encore this turn. So we're going to hope that you're not using Follow Me. And we're just going to do that, and we're just going to drop another Fusion. We did a slot. You do end up going with Follow Me, you little booger. You little booger. I want to Encore that Bruxus in the Trick Room. Okay, so my Trick Room play, not working. It's just not working. Encore is going to... Oh, you have Dazzling anyway. You have Dazzling anyway. That works out so well. That works out so well. Good old Bruxus. So we take out the mouse hold here. <coughs> no big deal. They're going to bring out the Trick Room users, such as Enamorous or Ursaluna. Which, I mean, we'll protect Zekrom waste out of turn here, which could be good for us. And Enamorous is going to fly through. So, yeah, definitely got to protect you. And maybe just try to throw a Moonblast into the slot. And hope to just, you know, get a special attack drop. So, waste out these Trick Room turns. That's the name of the game in this battle. We have two pretty good back-end Pokemon with Ogre Pine and Landers to help us out. Um, I might save my Terra for Ogre Pine. I mean, that special defense boost is going to be lovely. But they're just going to Terrestrialize uh, Enamorous right here, right? Yep, Enamorous going to get Terra. Going to go into Straight Fairy, yep. And probably just like to rip with Springtime Storms. I am protecting my lovely little Zekrom. And again, hope to get a special attack drop. I would love a nice big time special attack drop. The Super Fangs of the Fly, you're going to half my HP. And chances are you just KO my Wombs Caught with Springtime Storm. No, or Dazzling Gleam. That works. So, Zekrom's going to block it. Wombs Caught's going to die out here. Um, what's my play here? My play here is most likely just let Zekrom die. Let's be honest. I think we let Zekrom die and we just spiky shield the shot. Maybe try to go for double protect. I mean, I'd rather go for double protect than just let Zekrom die. So how many turns are left in Trick Room? Two. 
Yeah, and what I'm thinking here is just go into a spiky shield here and then terrasize next turn and get that big time uh, special defense boost. So, do I attack? I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. And you're gonna die out to that. I think I gotta protect. I think it's better for us wasting out trick and turns. I think it's just better for us wasting out trick and turns. I'm gonna go for it. Spike Shield's gonna come out here. We're gonna look to just go for double protect. If you die, you die, Zekram. I still think we're in a, in a decent position to win. And yeah, you're gonna miss your protect. So protect missing, you are dead to this Dazzling Gleam. Super Fang gonna fly here. And Super Fang is kind of annoying, man. I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it. But Brock's just gonna take some damage. Unanimous goes for Dazzling Gleam. No big deal. If I can waste out these trick and turns, I'm gonna be able to have my landers. Just pop big time sludge bomb. So from here, again, Zekrom dies. I'm now going to Terrastalize my Ogre Pond. I'm gonna send a Horn Leech into this Bruxish slot because they're gonna do some damage onto my boy. And then just protect Lando. Waste out these last turns of Tricker. And then I could just Sheer Force Sludge Bomb. I think we're sitting in a solid position. As long as you don't crit, right? So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take out the Bruxish and then just protect you. Wasted out Tricker. Name of the game here. Name of the game here. So we protect it pretty well. We, we uh, sacrifice our Pokemon at the right time. And again, I think my back-end Pokemon have the power to actually do this. Because what's probably going to happen is Super Fang is going to fly into the Ogre Pond. It's going to have the HP. Dazzling Gleam is going to fly. I don't think with this plus one special defense boost, that Enamorous can KO at half HP. And then Horn Leech can KO the Bruxious. We'll get back some HP. Shurkin will be done. We can pretty much wrap it up from there. That's the whole plan. That's the whole plan. Yep, there's Super Fang. Half in our HP. I doubt you're doing 70. You're not doing 78. You are not doing 78, I swear. This monitor might get my fist if you're doing 78. Told you, you're not doing 78, I told you. Monitor survives another day. Bruxious, gone. Protect, awesome. We waste out these Shrikram turns. Love what we're saying. Now we're above 78, woo! Now we're above 78. And if I had to guess, Ursa Luna is probably their final Pokemon. And if it is, I can just Horn Leech into that. Big time damage. It is Ursa Luna. They can't thrash last. We love it. Horn Leech for more HP. Coming at you. Horn Leech. Sludge Bomb. Run it. Run it. Wasted out these Shrikram turns real well. I was going to say, if that Enamorous KOs me, I, 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 I had a feeling it wouldn't. I figured it wouldn't. I mean, that's why I made that play. It's big time special defense boost. But he ends up just protecting Ursa Luna Bear. That's fine. You can't KO me with it as a gleam. Sludge Bomb going to fly. And this should KO, right? Sheer Force Life for Lando. Hits like a truck, man. Hits like an absolute truck. Sludge Bomb going to finish that off. And that's going to be game. That is going to be game. I can now Ivy Cudgel. I can double down here. Should I Horn Leech instead of Ivy Cudgel? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Just in case like we miss a shot or something. We at least want some HG back so we can actually, you know, have a chance of soaking up a shot. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go into an Earth Power because the accuracy is 100. And that should, that should be game. I mean, Horn Leech should do a huge chunk of damage here. Ivy Cudgel would do a little bit more, but again, I just want that HP recovery factor here. Just making it massive. But a big time terror from us, just everything worked out great for us. Protecting at the right time. Dude, you do so much damage. He does so much damage. There it is. That's game. But yeah, we protected at the right time. We swapped out at the right time. We terrestrialized at the right time. Everything was perfect. But there it is. One and one. Let's go hop into our third and final. Final match is here, and we're going up against Gangsta Pikachu. Look at my boy, tilted sideways hat, looking like a stud. Looking like an absolute stud. I love this Pokemon so much. But, in realistically, or I should say realistically, we're going up against Shadow Rider or Calyrex. Alongside with Tornados. Ditto is involved here as well, with Ogre Pond and Urshfu. But that Pikachu. Oh, that Pikachu, baby. Loving its looks. Loving its looks. I could go into Fluttermane here. Fluttermane could be really good for us, considering it does have boost and energy special attack. I can always just tail with it. I could always tail with it, but I think I have to go into a tailwind user. I might want to go into Incineroar here as well. Incineroar for the lead might not be bad, but I feel like they go Tornadus and Calyrex, so I think I have to match their tailwind energy. I think I have to do that, right? I think I have to. I kind of want to lead Incineroar just for Intimidates, Fake Outs, and furthermore, um, maybe just knocking off that Calyrex, right? That's definitely in our best interest. I'm going to go into both of them. I'm going to go into both of them. Go Fluttermane. And last but not least, got to bring in the Zekrom. We got to watch out for Pikachu. Potentially could have Lightning Rod as its ability. We don't want to deal with that. That's, that's a little scary. Lightning Rod on a, on a Pikachu with the Cyber's hat. 
Nah, man. I'm fine. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> Just gotta watch out for it. But I wonder who they're gonna lead. I think Calyrex and uh, Tailwind Tornadus in their best interest. But if they do do that, I I, I kind of just want to hit that thing with a knockoff, right? Slap. Take off the item. Go from there. And there it is. All right. So I could match Tailwind. I could fake out if I want to. Um, I think at this point, you're definitely popping a Tailwind. So I'm just going to sash up here with my Whimscot. And I'm just going to go for a knockoff into Calyrex. I'm just going to sash up. Yep. I'm just going to go into a Moonblast here. I'm going to double down to Calyrex. Doubling down to Calyrex. You got to be going for Tailwind. You have to be going for Tailwind this turn. Yep. Okay, cool. So I'm fine with this turn. Again, I have Focus Ash. I'm going to use it wisely. They're not going to Thrasalize, which is great. I'm not faking out. And they're just going to send an Astro Barrage my way. I'm fine with that because, I'll again, I'll Tailwind next turn. I will Tailwind next turn and we'll look to just get rid of this, this Calyrex. Could be great for us. Could be beautiful. You are Orb too, but I think you just honestly die out to this, to just a knockoff. Maybe should have moon blasted the uh, that slot right there, the Tornadus. But I don't mind doubling down the horse, just getting rid of it. Get it on out my face. You think I'm faking out? Nah, I'm going right after your horse. Get that thing on out of here. So now they have Tailwind set up. We're fine with uh, setting up Tailwind this turn because now we have it staggered, which means when their Tailwind ends, we're gonna have a turn to Tailwind, which is massive. And now Pikachu comes out here. Really don't want to deal with that. It's looking scary. But I'm going to do that. Um, set up the Tailwind. And I'm going to just look the party shot out here into the Pikachu. They probably should go for a Blink Storm. Oh, you have Fake Out. You little booger. You little booger. You got Fake Out. You got Fake Out cooking. And Blink Storm is going to fly. Okay. Blink Storm doing damage. Fake Out popping out here. Pikachu's got the hat. I love it, dude. I love it. I could go into Flutterman, to be honest here. I could honestly go into Fluttermane, rather than Zekrom. Zekrom's not bad here, though. I do have Rock Slide. We're gonna go to Zekrom. We're gonna go into Zekrom here. I like it. I like Zekrom here. Especially with this Elastic typing. Terrible. Gonna pop out here. Um, yeah, we're just gonna pop a Rock Slide. Keep her typing, and from here, do I go for the parting shot, or do I just double down this Pikachu? I think we just double down this Pikachu. I think it's our best bet. Just double down this Pikachu. I don't want to kill this Pikachu, but I kind of have to, right? I kind of, if I want to win the match, I have to KO this Pikachu. Rock Slide's going to connect. Beautiful. Oh my god, just tank damage on the Pikachu. A little lightweight. This thing's going to sash up. He's gonna go for an Endeavor. You little booger. Goes for Endeavor. Bleak is gonna do that. It's good to know my Zekrom does outspeed here. Really good to know. <coughs> really good to know that Zekrom's outspeeding. Which means Fluttermane outspeeds. We love it. Fluttermane outspeeding. So now from here, I can just honestly Terrasalize Fluttermane. Boost energy, special attack boost, and just send Daz and Gleams like our uh, first opponent did. Fluttermane's just so good. It really is, but Zekrom doing great today. I like the Zekrom. I do like the Zekrom. And honestly, we could just go into Fusion Bolt here. Unless Pikachu protects. Unless Pikachu protects, but I'm going to say it doesn't protect. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. We want to go for Fusion Bolt. We want to go into Terrestrialization here. Fairy with that as a win. Yeah, we are sitting in such a good position. Love this position. I know that Pikachu has Lightning Rod. Okay, but he's withdrawing it. But I was going to say, we're KOing it with the Azulene first. They're KOing it with Daz and Gleam. But they're going to hard swap here. They're going to go into Ditto. Ditto's here. Or Zekrom, who's going to die to this Daz and Gleam. All right. Cool. I don't mind it. <laughs> I don't mind it. I don't mind it. But Ditto's so cool. I, look, I can't. Round of applause for our opponent, man. Using some cool Pokemon. Cyber's Pikachu hat. And Ditto? Oh, man. We love Ditto. We love, we love me some Ditto. Ah, oh, but you end up just protecting there. You end up protecting. So they want the fake out for another turn. They want that lovely little fake out. Now comes Dazzle Gleam. Big time damage. Later. Bad swap. Water main on the field, swap it into a dragon type. Nah, man. Not a good play. You had better plays. Fusion Bolt's gonna get blocked. And from here, I mean, they have Fake Out Pikachu back on the field. Okay, so Fake Out is back. 
Tailwind is gone. I'm honestly, they can get some speed here. Hold up, wait a minute. This match ain't over yet. This match is not over yet, and I think we should just attack. They're gonna fake out and probably Tailwind. I think I do that, and I go for Dazzle Gleam. Rockside, Dazzle Gleam, and finally they cancel battle. So 2 1 for today's video. Round of applause to our third opponent for using some cool Pokemon. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Zekrom tearing it up in today's video. Love this Pokemon so much, alongside with every other Pokemon on today's team. I feel like all these Pokemon really thrive out in Regulation G, and it shows. Wimscott popped nice Tailwinds, Incineroar, I'm done talking about that Pokemon. Ogre Pond, great. Lander is doing some big time work in Fluttermane. It's Fluttermane. Come on, can't go wrong with that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.